Welcome everybody to another edition of Dan's Grand Valley Layout. This is going to be part three of the winter scene module and uh, we've got some exciting stuff today. We're going to be uh, putting the ice, making the uh, pond look frozen over and we're going to get the trees set and get the people uh, where they need to be and get that uh, module another step closer to being done. So thanks for tuning in and let's get to it. Okay, I've made sure that my edges are built up enough so the next layer of realistic water doesn't spill over. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the realistic water and put it in little cup here. That should be plenty. It's pretty much all I have left. It's probably going to take that. So we'll put that aside. Then I'm going to take some of the Woodland Scenics white pigment. This is the earth colors. And I'm going to add it to here and mix it in. That's going to be our ice. So let me get this open and we'll get that added in. Okay, I'm just going to add a bit of white pigment here. And then I'm going to stir it together. Bring some of that color up to the surface here. Okay. And now we're going to pour that on our pond. Not liking how this little cup I have is pouring. <laughs> it's not good, but let's just get it on here. Then like I did before, just going to take the stick and sort of push that around into the surface. And as you can kind of see, it looks pretty cool, like it's frozen got some ice in there. I'm running out over here, but I think we're okay. It's happened to me before. I, uh, I had too much over here on this edge and it was running out. Let me, uh, I'm just going to put something under it and uh, we'll come back and keep pushing that around. Okay, I just took the stick and I just kind of swirled it around. So now you can see there's sort of an icy white look to the pond. And I think that's pretty cool. A couple of little high spots. That's a high spot right there, which you would have in a natural pond. So uh, I'm just going to leave it now. Let this set up and then we'll be adding our flake snow and our trees and everything else. So it's gonna look pretty good, but we'll let this set up now for at least 24 hours, and then we'll come back and see what we have. It's been a few days. The water is set up nice and hard. It's got the ripples of ice through it. Um, a couple of places where you can actually see where the uh, plaster cloth overlaid right here um, but that's no big deal you can also see a little of the texture there but I'm gonna do the uh, snow now the uh, soft flake snow so what we're gonna do is I've taken scenic cement and I put it in these little bottles that I get from uh, uh, Hobby Lobby and it's just a little spray bottle and the problem is when you use this scenic cement unless you get it cleaned out really well after you use it like the sprayer and the hose or the little straw it'll clog up on you so I kind of consider these one shot uses um, I also use these eyedroppers these last a lot longer and work better uh, for 
tight areas, especially those work really good for ballasting. But for this, what we're gonna do, everywhere that I want the snow to stick, I'm just gonna spray here some scenic cement. Pretty good amounts. I put paper towels down so it doesn't get all over my carpet mat. So I'm just going to kind of spray right along here and I'm just going to do this back edge for right now. So I've got that. Let me grab the snow and we'll go ahead and sprinkle that on. Okay, got my soft flake snow and I've opened up the top. Just going to lightly sprinkle it on like it's snowing. So it's going to stick to that scenic cement. And it's going to look very snow-like. Very realistic. A little bit. Just how see how it's frosting the rocks. Sticking to where I made the snow drifts but just kind of frosting the rocks and then all along there. Now I got a little bit on the water itself. So I'm gonna take my, I, this is my handy one inch brush. I use this when I ballast and I'm just gonna brush it back onto the edges. If you see uh, frozen ponds and it snows, kind of bunches up around the edges but not out on the water so much, you know, especially since we're going to have ice skaters out here. So anywhere that it clumps up like this, I'll just pick that off. Don't need that. I'm just kind of clean this and kind of sweep that back. Got a little bit here. That's sort of the water. It's going to go out. So that's good there. And there. All right, so you can kind of see how it covered. You can still see some little dirt through there and stuff. That's why we painted it. It looks more realistic that way. And now I'll do this area all along here, and then we'll see how that turns out. Okay, I've got a good amount everywhere where I want it. Looks good, just continuing to use the brush here and anything I see that uh, is on the ice and I don't really want it there I'll just kind of sweep it towards the edges you know because snow falls on a frozen lake too but then people are on it ice skating and they kind of clear it off so we'll uh, we'll have that sort of cleared off no snowflakes and then when you're happy with that, we'll take the little spray bottle of scenic cement and we're just gonna mist it over everywhere we just did, just to kind of set it in, kind of glue it in. It's gonna get on the lake, but don't care. And there we go. If you do care about it being on the lake, you can take a little brush and just wipe it off. Kind of mixes with that snow a little bit. Kind of gives it a softening of the snowflakes. I kind of like that. Looks a little more realistic, so. I'm just kind of wiping the scenic cement off the lake. Didn't have to, but I might grab a little paper towel and just wipe that clear. So now we'll let that set for a little while. Then we'll go ahead and figure out where we're going to put our trees. All right, looking over the layout here, I decided that I want a medium size tree to be sort of right here on this little point here. And I'm just going to kind of locate it there. So I just kind of stick it in. So I see a little dimple in the snow. Then I will take an awl 
and I'll just kind of make a little hole there, just enough for the pin. Then I'll take my Turbo Tacky Glue. It's just white glue. It sets up pretty fast. And let's put a pretty good, it's got to get it to come out to the end here. Put a pretty good little dollop right there. And then we'll take our tree and find that little hole. There we go. And it looks pretty good. So, all right. Now I'm just going to, uh, I've got three more trees. I think a smaller one probably here larger one over on this end and yeah this one then we'll put the pines up on the hill up there the kids will be having a snowball fight here so we don't really want any trees right in here and i want to keep this clear as a path that you would walk between the railroad track and the the pond so you know like this is a either a nature area or a park of some sort so uh, that's what we'll do. I'll get the other trees in and then uh, we'll go ahead and figure out how we want to do the pines up there. Now that I have those trees glued in, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the snow around the base of them just by hand. I'm just taking pinches of it and I'm just going to kind of get in there a little bit just so that the glue has the snow on it so it looks like snow built up a little and then you don't see you won't see the there we go you won't see the uh, clear white glue there we go and I located one right over there that way that snow will cover that up we have one over here Okay, so I've got my trees placed and I went with just a few pine trees here. I didn't want to overwhelm the area because it's not that big. Of course, you saw the trees there. That's what I've got. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the ice skaters on the lake. And to do that, I'm going to use the Scenics Accent Glue, which is kind of... Uh, it's not permanent, so if you don't like where they are, it's not going to be really hard to take them off like it would be if I used white glue. So uh, we'll do that, and then we'll figure out where these uh, snowball fight guys will be. So I think, you know, over here we'll have, they've got a little pile of snow. We'll put the snowman right over here somewhere, and uh, we'll, have, we'll have them using this area as the snow fight because uh, the train, you know, for the the best angle will be coming this way. So I'm kind of looking at how it'll look on approach here. And then uh, we'll see the snowball fight here. We'll see all the ice skaters first. So I'm um, going to do that. I'm going to get the glue on the bottom of them and get them set up where I want them. Okay, I've got the uh, ice skaters on the pond. And I've got the kids having a snowball fight. And I had one kid ready to go right there. And he went MIA on me. Can't find him anywhere. This, uh, this glue, the scenic accent glue is really tacky. And these people and figures end up sticking to your fingers better than the layout. So... He must have stuck to my finger and I pulled him off the bench and he's on the floor or something, but I can't find him. So uh, we'll be on the lookout for him. Uh, so there's five kids instead of six. Uh, all the skaters worked out good though. So that's where we're going to leave it for part three. Uh, next week, we'll start with the cloud sunny day paper. 
that we're going to use and we'll put that on the inside of the mountain and we'll get all ready to get this placed in there where it needs to be so i think it came out pretty good got the snow down got the frozen lake i'm pretty happy with it so that's where we're going to leave it for this week thank you so much for watching thank you to all you new subscribers and we'll be back next week with part four of the winter scene module take care and we'll see you next time